Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Sanjay Parashar. Today we'll learn about alerts in Oracle Service Bus 12C. Similar to reports, we can leverage this alert action also to, er to do the error handling as well as for debugging OSP flows. In our previous videos, we have already talked about error handling in OSB, how you can create a custom error and handle it, and also how you can log information on faults into the diagnostic files. In our last video, we have talked in detail about reports. So if you have not seen those videos yet, I highly recommend you guys to check those out. I have created a playlist that will have all those three, four videos that we have created based on error handling and debugging of Oracle Service Bus 12C. So things that I have explained in those videos, I'll not be explaining in this video. So you, if you have not seen those, please watch them first, then uh, watch this particular video. The link will be in the description and also on the top of uh, this video right now in the YouTube cards. So let's start. Uh, alerts are of two types, service level agreement alerts and pipeline alerts. And for both types of alerts, you can specify alert destinations such as email addresses and uh, JMSQ. And in this video, we will be creating a demo on pipeline alerts. So now let's do a quick demo and show you how it works. So as you can see, I have already created a project called alerts demo. I have also created a schema called alerts demo which uh, has three elements, employee ID, name and location. This is the same schema that we have been using in, in our last three videos also. I have also created a WSDL based on this particular schema. I have shown you guys how I created it in previous videos. So I'm not going to waste our time in explaining that again. So now I'm going to quickly create a proxy service and the pipeline. So let's do that. I want it to be created in proxy services folder based on the WSDL that I have created. So I'll choose alerts demo proxy WSDL. Here you go, let's create a, a pipeline pair inside this. Let me just rename it. Pipeline pair node. And let's, we'll use this stage to raise an alert. So let's give it a name as alert stage. And this is a response stage. Now, in order to raise an alert or use alert action, you'll have to create an alert destination. So I'll tell you how you can create an alert destination. We'll come to project new. There is an option called alert destination. We'll give a name. We're using this for logging. I'll tell you why. There are multiple options that you can use alert destination for. I just want to log whatever I want to log and I want to show that in the uh, enterprise manager dashboard. So let's finish it. Now here, as you can see, there are different options. I just want alert logging. So everything else I'll set to no. There is, if you have configured an email client and you want to send your an email to uh, a particular recipient, at that time, you can add those recipients here. Uh, also, you can create a distribution list and use a distribution list to send across to a particular group. Similarly, if you want to publish the message or the content of that alert, if you want to publish that to a queue or topic, you can use this JMS destination. It's work absolutely similar to how JMS transport works. And we have already created a video on JMS transport, how you can consume a message from a JMS, uh, JMS uh, using a JMS transport. So you can see that and you can play around with this. In many organizations, they create different alert destinations for different uh, usage. 
some alert destination only for logging some for email some for gms destination but totally depending on how you want to leverage the alert action for us for our demo i only want to log the information and display that on the enterprise manager so i have set that logging to yes and everything else i'm not going to touch so let's come to our pipeline pair alert stage under the component we'll search for alert here is this alert action i'll drag and drop it to the alert stage under this alert property i'll choose the destination that i have just created now i can give a warning let's give uh, critical and i'll give a summary summary will help me to first search my alerts into uh, from the enterprise manager and also whatever the message that you give in summary and you have configured an email uh, client in your uh, alert destination so this summary will become the subject of your email so this is something that you can keep in mind so for me let me just say IG alerts demo and as part of the content I want to save the complete body and this is it similarly at this moment we are just logging the body but you get an idea uh, as we can do with report or for log action you can use this alert action also under the uh, error handler like we explained in the first video of this series so it's totally up to you if you want to log an information or if you want to uh, log a particular fault. So let me deploy this and then we'll test it and I'll show you how you can check that um, message in your enterprise manager. So let's deploy it really quick. Deployment is done. Let's go to the service bus console and test it. So as we can see, alerts demo. Let's quickly test it. However, as we have not done anything in the pipeline pair, so there is no business logic. We can give any dummy value to this. The output of this demo should be, we should be able to see this alert message or this context of body uh, into our enterprise manager dashboard. So let me just give name as James location USA. As it says, there is no response of course. Now we'll go to Enterprise Manager and I'll show you how you can check these alerts into your Enterprise Manager. So in your Enterprise Manager, you'll need to go to this tar target navigation, go to the service bus under SOA folder and here at home page only there is an option called alert history as you can see. You'll click on this, you'll choose the alert type, we have the pipeline alert that we have worked with one is that you give alert summary right the one that we have given probably i think as uh, ig alerts demo or you can give also filter out results using the alert severity the timing and all those sort of things so let me just try with this so you see ig alerts demo and severity we gave as critical more often than not i have seen that uh, severity will be warning or information or normal when you are only logging the information for business or technical errors somebody people might use the severity as critical and production support team will need to look into it uh, on priority so if you we'll click on this alert summary you'll see the message that you have logged here the complete body so that's how you can leverage this alert to log information to log the fault messages uh, using this alert operation you can uh, alert action you can use email clients and also jms transport in one go and so this is it it's up to you how you want to leverage this option and if you have any questions please let me know comment on this video or send us an email and thank you for your time take good care of yourselves